Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over taking our YouTube banner photo and showing you some tricks on how to edit yours so it looks perfect on every device. So when you're shooting your YouTube banner, you need to keep in mind that it's like itty bitty, little skinny mini. So you need to have your camera back far enough and you need to have a really wide angle lens to shoot with. So the widest angle lens that we have is our GoPro 9. Um, it's an extremely wide angle lens and takes extremely high depth photos. So it's probably the best bet we have for today's photo shoot. So we're hoping to get something with the city skyline in it. That's the goal for today. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. Let's go. One of the first places that we are checking out today is just along the riverside of the Thames. From this side of the river, we can actually get a pretty good view of the downtown skyline. <laughs> it's just like trying to get like the whole skyline. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, so we got the GoPro set up for the shot. I think we've got it framed the way we want it and I'm gonna use the GoPro app off my phone to make sure we have it lined up right where we want it and to trigger the photo. But I don't want to have my cell phone in the photo. So what I've decided to do is I've taken these elastics and I'm gonna slide my phone through these elastics. <laughs> so that I can hold the phone there and trigger the camera from my phone while it looks like I'm only holding my can. So that's the plan, hopefully it works. We will see. Now how far oh, do we have to be spread out? Not too far. <clears throat> Destination one, shot. We're gonna try a different location, see if we can get anything better now. Bye bye, London Skyline. So the next spot we decided to check out is the parking garage by St. Joe's Hospital. This is definitely a Courtney pick. <laughs> I mean, we'll see when we get to the top. We were hoping Check to find it. something high that we could kind of look over downtown. And this is at the top of the hill on Richmond Street and it's six stories high. So we're hoping if we get to the top of that, we can look down Richmond and cross downtown. I don't know, we'll see what we get. <laughs> Well, this is not bad. Not bad at all. What do you think, Chris? I like this. I like this a lot. This is pretty awesome. Like, this gets like everything. Cool. I like it. 
All right, so I guess we'll set the GoPro up again here and we'll stand close to this wall and try and get some shots with the city in the background. I like it. <laughs> Chris, what did you think about destination number two? Uh, second spot, pretty good. It had a really cool view of downtown. Um, I hope the wall wasn't blocking too much of it and that when we slap our logo in the middle there, it doesn't cover too much. So other than that, it looked really cool. It's a great viewpoint from there. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I really liked it. All right, we made it to our third and final spot that we can think of for taking photos. It's another one of the high spots in the city. So right now we're at the Elsie Perrin Williams Estate, which is part of the Windermere. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what this place is. But. They host weddings. There's trails just beyond, right along the river. It's a really nice place to come out for a hike. Yep, we've taken a lot of photos yep. in the forest around here Definitely. for multiple different people and different occasions, mm -hmm. and it always turns out good. There's Every always time. lots of great spots in here. There's lots of animals, coyotes, beware. What do you think? Oh, it's not too bad, but yeah, you're right. We can't really see the skyline right. of the city at all. It just looks like trees. But still, might but be for a know. nice photo. We're here. Can we go do it? <clears throat> so over in this spot, it's an awesome little lookout. You can look straight down over the Thames. Although when we set this up on the tripod to actually shoot a photo for a header, I don't know how much of that you're going to see. What? What do you think? I like this. <clears throat> All right, we snapped a few photos at the Elsie Perrin Williams Estate, and we're freezing cold. We've been out here all afternoon, so it's time to head home, get warm, and take a look at these photos. Hopefully a few of them are usable and there's something there that we like. All right, so we made it back home and we've looked through our photos and these are the three best ones that we liked. Now we're looking for something with the city skyline and this last one didn't really cut it for us. So we're just gonna get rid of that one altogether. So there are these YouTubers named Becky and Chris that we are big fans of, and they put together a YouTube art template. And if you guys are looking to make a YouTube banner, I would highly suggest downloading this template. It is highly useful. It shows you exactly what you're gonna see on each media device, so you can Position your text and your graphics and your photo exactly the way you want it. So, like we were saying earlier, the banner that you see on most things, being your computer and your phone, is super narrow. So our first photo, even though we had the camera back pretty far and it's the widest lens that we have. <laughs> we still had 
to either cut off our feet or the tops of the buildings. Yeah. Unfortunately. And we were really trying to avoid that. So even though I like this photo a little bit better, I like the way uh, we're standing. Mm -hmm. It looks a little bit more natural, but we're cutting the buildings off. So let's look at that second photo. I, I think this is the one we're probably going to go with for now. I think so. And even this one, we're really close to cutting off the tops of those yeah. buildings. And we're definitely cutting off just the tips of our feet. But but we'll go with that. It works for now. Temporary until maybe the weather's a little nicer and we can get out and actually not freeze our butts off. Yes. But. Now, my whole idea of strapping my phone to my camera to trigger the photo, because <laughs> um, the GoPro app is on my phone, which is what we we're using to take the photos. Um, it was so heavy that I couldn't hold it with one hand. <laughs> so I still really don't actually like our body positions, but it's the best one that I think we yeah. have. So we'll go with that for now, and a little bit down the line, when the weather's a bit nicer, we'll get out there. Redo. And do a redo, mm -hmm. knowing that we got to keep the camera back even further. Yeah. Which Maybe I thought we we'll were, I thought we were so far back that we would have to crop in right. so much. Right. So once you edit your photo, you can bring it back into the template see how it looks in there and then for us we wanted our logo right in the middle front and center mm -hmm. so we've got that right here make sure you've got the transparent background and place that make sure you got it right inside your two lines to make sure it's visible and you're good to go. If you want to put any other words or info, make sure it's inside the lines for the mobile thing because most people are going to be looking at it on their phone. So keep that in mind. Now, when you go to save it, make sure you click off the eye for the template or else you're going to see those blue lines in your photo. So... That's about it for making your YouTube header. Good luck. <laughs> so that wraps up our YouTube tutorial on making your YouTube banner. Definitely, if you're going to make one, definitely download the Becky and Chris template. Mm -hmm. It is a huge help. Made uh, it super easy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I'm still not super happy with our pose. But we'll just have to get out there, do it again, and keep in mind how narrow it really is. Right. So we'll keep that camera back even further to get a wider view. But that's for next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit the bell for all those notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Just to focus, the screen is so dirty. Do you have anything to clean it with? And we'll be showing you some tricks on how to properly edit it so it looks perfect on it. That's it. That's supposed to be the one. Every, I forgot the word. Every device. Every device. <laughs>